Hello everyone. So in this video series, we are going to learn and create beautiful and amazing desktop applications with the help of Flutter. So in the recent Flutter upgrade, the Flutter team have provided some mega changes in the desktop support for Flutter applications. So this desktop supports allow you to compile Flutter source code to a native Windows, Mac OS or Linux desktop application. So this is the official website flutter.dev slash desktop where you can find this complete article regarding the desktop support for your Flutter applications and the command to switch from your mobile applications to desktop applications. So in the recent Flutter upgrade, the mega change in the desktop support for the Flutter application was that the Flutter team has shipped a snapshot of Flutter desktop beta on the stable channel. So earlier when we were creating desktop applications using the Flutter, so we have to switch, uh, we have to switch from stable to master or to the developer channel. But now you don't have to switch. Okay, you can simply run your desktop application in the stable channel only. Okay, so this helps a lot in the fields of time utilization because earlier when we were switching from one channel to another, so a lot of time was uh, taken by the channel switching thing and second if you want the latest version of the desktop support then you can switch to the beta channel okay but in our video series we will be working with the stable channel only okay now for our video series we will be creating desktop applications for the windows os okay so from so in this website you can find the respective requirements for your respective os environments so for Windows, you must be having one ID, whether it is Android Studio or IntelliJ ID or VS Code, okay, with properly installed Flutter and Dark plugins. And one additional requirement for the Windows OS is that you will be requiring Visual Studio 2019 ID, okay, with and and at the time when you are downloading it, you should uh, tick mark or you should check this desktop development with C++ because the desktop apl applications in Flutter. Uh, are having quite of its source codes and uh, files in C++ format. Okay, so that's all the talk for this video. So now let's get started with our coding part and how to upgrade and how to switch to our desktop application. Now, if you haven't upgraded to Flutter 2.0 or 2.0.6, so first we will be upgrading our Flutter setup. So you can run Control R and open your CMD. Here you should write Flutter Upgrade or you can write Flutter Upgrade Force. Okay, so this will upgrade your Flutter and Dart uh, plugins in SDK to the latest version. Okay, so the execution of this command will take uh, quite some time, but after it is done, so you can open your Android Studio and uh, after that. So after opening your Android Studio, I have created one project. Okay, so it will be having a look like this. Okay, so now we will create our very first desktop application. So you have to follow three commands for that. Open your terminal. Okay, so your very first command will be this flutter config enable Windows desktop. Okay, so copy this command and we'll uh, simply paste it over here. So this command will uh, set the property of enabling window desktop in your Android Studio and it will set it to true. So as you can see our uh, settings of enable window desktop value have been set to true. Okay and now it is instructing us to restart our IDE. So after doing this you can simply close your Android Studio and open it again. Now, after restarting my ID, here as you can see, there should be a folder named Windows which is not visible right now, okay, which means that it has not been created yet. So, for getting that particular folder, what we have to do, we have to run this command flutter create and we have to set our platform, okay. So, we will copy this command. You can find the same command over here in this website also under the add desktop support to an existing Flutter app. So from 
here you can copy this code and we can switch to our project and we'll just simply paste it so this will create an a particular platform folder for our application so now here as you can see that it is running but uh, it has generated and created one folder named windows okay and one more suggestion that every time whenever you are enabling the configuration for desktop application or whenever you are switching so it is a good thing that you should once in a while run this flutter doctor command so you can stay up to date whether all the packages and plugin which are required for your applications have been properly initialized or are there or not for your project okay so here also i am running this command flutter doctor here you can see uh, it is showing me my current channel which is uh, stable and the current version of the flutter which is 2.0.6 and on the platform which is microsoft windows okay so here we are no issues found so which means that my project is ready for running its very first desktop application okay now to check what are the available devices so we'll run flutter devices so this should show my current uh, pc name okay so here you can see it is showing me my windows and uh, i have also connected my phone so that's why it's showing its name also in the device list okay and it is automatically showing me the chrome and edge also you can see the web folder is also there which is created automatically okay so this means that our desktop application will be running on our windows environment now we'll clear this and to run our first uh, desktop application just switch here in the devices channel select your windows okay and from here also you can run and if you want to run it from the terminal you can uh, use the command flutter run hyphen d which indicates desktop and the name of our platform which is windows okay i will be preferring the run button from given in the toolbar okay because this one takes i don't know some somehow a long time okay so this was it so just click on this after clicking on this it is showing me the starting dev tools dialog okay we'll get to this dev tools also that uh, how it is useful to debug and to show the widget tree of your applications okay which is a very useful tool so it is building our desktop application for the very first time so we have to give him some time to get properly built okay so now here as you can see our very first flutter desktop application has been created okay um but you can see that it is it is having some default screen size and it is not uh, on some proper you can set the center location okay its origin point or you can say its default position is somewhat random okay but as a developer we want that whenever user opens our app okay so our app so our app should be on the center okay while opening and the size are also decided by the developer okay so here as you can see that if i stretch down or stretch up the application it is getting as much as i can okay if i want it to completely see uh, so this is the minimum width okay but uh, obviously we don't want this much of minimum width in our applications okay so let us see how the animations are working like if i'm clicking on the fab bar you can see the changes is not showing immediately because the fps is taking a lot of time because we have built it for the first time okay so give it some time like 2 3 minutes and after that it will work very much smoothly as uh, as this applications work in your mobile applications okay so now you can see yeah, it is working very much properly okay if i am incrementing the number and it is incrementing if i am clicking on the number then it is incrementing okay so here you have created successfully your very first flutter desktop application so in our next video we will see how to resize our application screen and how to show our application in the center 
of the screen by default. 